advance to the topic of interest via the menu in the description below. More aerodynamic than a 2 liter soda bottle. Thicker and more durable, made of polycarbonate instead of PET. Very water volume a lot without adverse launching results. Not easily blown off a field due to wind since it is skinny. Requires no additional nose cone. Back gliding recovery descends on its side. Two foolproof methods for deploying a parachute. Screw an expansion chamber on top to increase volume. Screw a payload container on top for can set or other application. Pressurize up to 145 psi, provided 150 psi safety valve is installed. FTC rocket parts needed. FTC tube, two strato caps, nose cone, strato fins, nozzle, and rail guides. Additional items needed. Lacquer thinner, thread locker, marker, popsicle stick, toothpick, tape, sandpaper, and adhesive. FTC tubes made from acrylic are clear thin and lightweight. Lightweight is great, but if it crashes, it will crumple. Slide a 1 inch PVC end cap inside the FTC tube. Slide a 1 inch PVC T into the tube, leaving a tiny gap for the cut. Make a clean, squared off cut. Remove any burrs. Repeat previous steps on the other end. Sand both ends three quarters of an inch inside of the tube all around. Apply adhesive to the inside of the FTC tube. Apply adhesive to the strato cap. Turn the strato cap into the FTC tube until seated. Wipe off excess adhesive. Tape the strato cap in place to hold aligned position. Repeat previous steps on the other end. Adhesive must cure for 72 hours before use. After 72 hours, remove tape and clean up any residue. Caps with a liner seal better. Screw cap onto one end. Screw strata fins snug onto FTC rocket. Screw on nozzle to the strata fins. Pressure test to find any leaks. Cap, strato fins, or nozzle may need to be screwed on tighter if leaking. If leaking at glue joint, apply a bead of adhesive to the interior. Two-part epoxy fixes leaks since it runs. Pressurize while curing helps. Dished and flat. Place flat side of rail button down over flange nut. Turn screw in less than halfway. Apply a drop of removable thread locker to interior threads. Spread thread locker inside flange nut with toothpick. Lightly tighten screw 
and wipe off excess thread locker. Rail buttons should spin freely with 1 16th inch play. Screw strata fins snug onto FTC rocket. Wrap rail button guide around FTC tube, keeping flush with lip. Center paper edge between any two fins and apply tape. Mark tube according to rail button guide. Sand a half inch circle below each mark. Wipe off dust. Apply polyurethane adhesive to flange nut. Carefully place rail guides on tube and align straight. Adhesive must cure for 24 to 48 hours before use. If leak persists at stratofins connection, add a square ring. If alignment between stratofins and rail guide is off, add a square ring. Seat ring inside stratofins shelf. Insert PVC handle and screw stratofins snug under strato cap. Remove PVC handle. Check rail guide alignment and pressure test for leaks. If leak persists or alignment is off, repeat previous steps. Loop all the shroud lines over an 8 inch cable tie. Bind them below the lip of the bottle or FTC cap. Cinch cable tie snug. Spread shroud lines evenly around the cap. Trim off the excess cable tie. Gather all the shroud lines at the top of the rocket. Bind them all together with a 4-inch cable tie. Trim off the excess cable tie. Drape strato chute over the top of the FTC rocket. Tether the chute release to one shroud line or you'll lose it. Put two to four folds in the strato chute. Pull all the shroud lines taut. Wrap the rubber band around the rocket and chute. 
Snap in the release pin. Face top of pin toward the back. Keep the chute tight against the fuselage by spreading the bands. Turn on the chute release and set altitude at 200 feet. Perform shake and release tests before every flight. Additional items needed, two 1 liter, 1 1.5 or 2 liter soda bottles, two o-rings, and stratocoupler. Slide o-ring on stratocap to first lip. Slide o-ring on soda bottle to first lip. Screw stratocoupler snug onto strato rocket. Screw the bottle on top as an expansion chamber. Do not exceed 120 psi when using an expansion chamber. A weighted fall-away nose cone made from a second bottle is required. Back gliding recovery may work, but a parachute is recommended. Additional items needed, half liter and one liter soda bottles, one inch rubber washer, 25 cent US coin or equivalent size, and stratocoupler. Insert washer into the middle of the stratocoupler. Lightly screw the stratocoupler onto the strato rocket. Place the coin on top of the washer. Screw the payload container snugly on top of the coin. Screw the stratocoupler very tight onto the strato rocket. Pressure test to make sure there are no leaks. Adjust the rubber washer and coin if it is leaking. Cut a door into the side of the compartment to add the payload. Make a fall-away nose cone from a one liter bottle to place on top. Parachute required to bring the payload back to earth without crashing. The chute release device will reliably accomplish this recovery. Almost any amount of water can be used without adverse results. Five hundred milliliters of water is best, about two inches above the top rail guide. Exceeding the height of the stainless steel tube will not harm the Strata Launcher 4. Strata rocket can be launched with the Strata rail or without the Strata rail.
screw an expansion chamber on top to increase altitude. Notice the extended burn time due to the increased air volume. Weight of coupler, chute, release, nose cone, and expansion affect altitude. Screw a payload container on top for CAMSAT or other applications.